other uh, radiator to come in um, I'm going to go ahead and take these lower see if you get a pan this view right here this is what the radiator sets on and this one over here you can see that it got mangled and smashed see this is supposed to be straight out here I'm gonna be taking the old ones off and putting on the other ones now believe it or not those little uh, the, those little uh, supports on the bottom the radiator bottom support brackets those things are a small correction than every time that I say 19 millimeter I really mean three quarters of an inch put together go figure but anyways that's what I'm about to do right now so without further ado it looks like there is a bolt at the top of these things I don't know if you can see there's a bolt at the top these should be 19 millimeter and then there's a bolt at the bottom which no, let's see. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> I need some liquid wrench. Or a cheater bar. Is there a cheater bar? Yeah, let's see if I can find a. Anyways, right there is this is what it looks like. Right there's what the other one looks like. Alright, what I have here is a bigger drive with a 19 millimeter and a breaker bar. So we take this little off of here, this little one, it'll give me more torque. At least I was hoping. There. I think it started to move that time. All I have to do is push it the right way, huh? Let me see if this is the six sided or the 12. It's a 12 point. Oh, well, let me see if it'll take off this one. Yeah, it needs a smaller. We'll try for an 18. We'll try for an 18. Okay. All right, guys, what I'm doing now, there's a top bolt that is a 19 millimeter, and I've got the breaker bar held onto it, and it's held down on this cross member here so that it's gonna hold it in place because it's also connected to a bolt on the bottom, which it's a 13 millimeter, and I've gotta go clockwise with it to get it to come off. So that's holding that while I, Turn this down here to get the bolt off. And it's coming off just slowly. And these are the bottom brackets that hold on the radiator. And like I said, even if you try to get them online wholesale at eBay or whatever, they're kind of expensive. So the best place to get them is like a Facebook marketplace, uh, somebody that's parting out a car, or at a junkyard. Because believe it or not, these brackets cost more than the actual parts. Looks like I'm getting some rusty threads here because it's getting kind of tough. Looks like it's coming through though. Making some progress here. And this is a big bolt too. So what bent this frame here 
is when whoever was driving this car had a front end collision which also um, put a hole in the radiator as I was showing in my other video looks like I can hand uh, get this out of there now as the bolt is here and the it's right here in the uh, breaker bar let me get this out that's how big that is and there's one more under here let's see uh, it's also a 13 millimeter but we're getting some stance here it doesn't look like it has a uh, doesn't look like it has a bolt on the top so looks like it's just here on the bottom let me uh, get an action shot of it live film There's that second bolt. <laughs> Alright, I can't hold it at the same time. I do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that bolt off there. Now what we have here is the exact same piece, except this one's been mangled. I don't know if you can tell or not. This is where the rubber grommet goes on this one. And I'm going to take out this rubber grommet, put it in here. But this has got kind of uh, mangled and smashed in the wreck. And I'm going to put that down there. I'll show you a finished product when I get it on there. In finishing this part, prepping the, the bottom support brackets until the other radiator comes in. You can see right here that these are on there now. And these are ready for it to set just right in there and then that's when we're going to get her done so i'll see you guys then